that. And when a new stuff comes up in you, when the Holy Ghost begins to bleed your face, you'll feel energy. What you say? He will encourage you. He'll give you faith. It'll be an opinion. And you'll know that God's answered your prayer. We call it praying through. We call it getting an answer. We call it getting an answer from God when we pray. And we know that it hurts. Come on. And I'm strengthened by it. Yeah. I've got courage by it. Hallelujah, God. Amen. Tell the devil in the whole world. Why are you preaching that to us and not preaching? I burned up with fevers all day today. Rest. Rest. I just drank. And about 2 o'clock like that, I said, God, I'm on call, bro. Can't tell I can't come. I wrestle this thing all day. It's just, I'm so drained. I, I'm so weak. I, maybe I'm just laying and going to sleep. Maybe, maybe to put a little strength back in my body. And I'll wake up and if I ain't in bed, I'll call it. Lay there. My oh, God. Oh, Jesus. I couldn't go to sleep. I got up on old, my old chair. I fell down and I said, God. Our Father. And I reached out, and I felt that spirit standing yeah. there. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. When Bible said, put on me, you know, let's go. Yeah. <laughs> I felt that Holy Ghost begin to travail for an hour, an hour, a quarter, or something like that. Just oh. complaining and interceding. And I could feel the surge of God where it take hold. Oh. And Brother Cannon reached back and get strengthened again in this wall. And come up, and I can feel it charging hell, charging the devil. I'm telling you, God was moving in there, and the fevers left, and the, 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 the weakness fell off of it, and God gave us strength back. That's why, one reason, the main reason that God spoke to me, my spirit, the preaching, hallelujah to God. And I will tell you one thing, Jerry, you can't, you can't just sit around, lay around, and hope to get better. Amen. Amen. No. You can't just lay around and wonder and hope a job's going to turn up. That's right. you got to pray and open the door. Come on, Come on. that's right. Yes, we do. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. We're living in a time right now. We're living in a time right now that things don't close. We know things are going bad. It's headed right the way God wants it by His predetermined counsel. Amen. It's headed right the way God wants it. Amen. I'm okay. He took care of a widow woman, didn't he? He took care of a man of God. He took care of a leper that wasn't even under the covenant. Just heard the good news that talked to me. Come on, come on. God moved for me. I'm going to tell you something. If we're going to get a hold of God, listen, once you start praying, prayer ain't that bad. <laughs> come on, come on. That old flesh, it don't want to. That old flesh fight in the spirit of the Lord and you're too tired to pray. You're too sick to pray. You just don't feel like praying. Well, just wait till you feel a little better. Then you can pray. Oh, <laughs> uh, no. You better get up and pray. You better get a hold of God and let God get a hold of you and let that change come into life. God's going to strengthen you. Verse 7. There the righteous might dispute with him. So should I be delivered forever from my judge. Hallelujah. I got a lot of what a wonderful thing here. God's the judge of all. You believe that? Oh, what he's saying here, I'm coming before God. He's sitting on that throne. Jesus is my advocate. 